The Ministry of Urban and Rural Development also urged nurses, among others, to take part in this initiative and to register to get their houses. I've informed members of the public, more especially the nurses, teachers, government employees, members of the media, but some members of the media say, yeah, you know, ministers, some of us on contract will not be able to afford those houses. Fight? You used to fight other things. But now you should also fight for your own interest. <laughs> yeah. You see, you should fight. Uh, so we are now going again at Koreahab eh? area to build more than 50 houses. Of course, the advertisement will be placed or placed in the print media and then uh, you register yourself yes it's f more than 50 but you know the population is so big the mayor of Ventuk, joseph wabingene commended the contractors of completing the construction within the stipulated time frame if it were not for all the good work commitment and preservation we would not be here today as chairperson of the land delivery an affordable housing advisory committee, and I, I take particular pride in celebrating the witnessing the handover of houses five months after the groundbreaking ceremony last year in September. Comas Governor Laura McLeod Kashirwa is impressed with progress made so far and called for introduction of more similar initiatives. All efforts to provide accommodation to all residents and deliver to its development objectives. Initiatives like this are important to, sh to showcase and I am happy to see the tangible progress made especially in terms of housing delivery in these beautiful regions. The project aims to gradually formalize the city to replace shacks with brick houses and to accelerate the provision of housing within the city.